Today I'm gonna get a reality check, is what's gonna happen right now. But there's one thing I wanna say before I start and that is I got inspired to do this video from Jess and Gabriel's channel. I have their video linked down below. Let's get to it. I have my laptop here with me, with my internet banking in front of me. This will be the, all the spending I've done in the month of February. So today is 1st March. We're gonna see. I think I'm gonna be shocked. Okay, first thing that I noticed, which is on 1st February, is to a big tree entertainment, book my show. So this was a movie that I had gone to watch. I think this was Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit was really, really good though. The movie was amazing. All right, so that was a good one. Also, on 1st February, I remember buying this after I watched the movie. Actually, I'll show you the t-shirt. So this is the t-shirt I got. It's from Lee. It's a regular everyday t-shirt. 314 rupees for that. I will have the equivalent dollar amount over here just for universal purposes. Same day, I ate at McDonald's and I spent 89 rupees <laughs> on that one. Okay, the next transaction is something that I will see recurring. I have coconut water almost regularly, 35 rupees for that. Next, I have groceries. All these, by the way, are on 1st February. Oh my god, how much did I spend on the first day of the month? What the hell? So also on 1st February is a grocery bill for 217 rupees. Also on 1st February is another grocery bill for 20 rupees. And that's for 1st February. I think I spent like way too much on the first day of the month. 2nd February now. I went to a restaurant to have breakfast and that was 70 rupees. If you live in Bangalore, India, then you know Udupi is a very famous restaurant out here. Next is another grocery bill for 240 rupees. I just bought groceries the last day. What did I buy again? Also, again, coconut water, 35. I have, again, groceries on the same day. 148 rupees. I am confusing myself right now. What am I buying for so much? And then I have a huge payout on 2nd February, which is my rent. That's 10,000 right out of the bank. I feel like on the very first week of the month, I have spent like 15,000. That's my guess. Because, oh my god. I. What? It goes to 4th February. I spent 278 rupees on chicken from Licious. Licious is a place where you can get raw chicken from. The 5th February has me ordering from a restaurant for 155 rupees. 6th February, I bought stuff from Nika. What did I buy from Nika? Let me check. I hope it's something that I needed. I really hope. Okay, this is good. I bought actually a serum for my hair. As you can see, even in the video, my hair is so is in a very bad condition for a bunch of reasons right now. PCOD affects my hair a lot. You know, either people get acne and hair issues. Luckily, I don't have acne. I'm so grateful. But hair is very badly affected in my case. So I try to put as much less heat as I can on my hair. But recently, I was noticing that my hair felt very weak. You know when you just run through your hair and you just feel that your hair is very, it's gonna tear, it's weak. So actually the story goes as such is that once I'd ordered something from Nika and I'd gotten a free product from Squarscoff. I saw that the serum, that, that small little tiny thing, suited my hair so well. And I've been struggling with products to suit my hair since forever, nothing suits me. So I thought that let me try this brand out again because I also have their hairspray. This hairspray? It's a light control hairspray. Amazing product. So I was thinking, let me try a serum and amazing, amazing serum. But from the very first use, I felt a difference. So if you're looking for a good serum, by the way, check this one out. It's, I'll link it down below. Next is complete waste of money. This is 110 rupees spent on third wave coffee roasters. I love cinnamon rolls. Please give this video a like if you're also somebody who loves cinnamon rolls. Like, what? They're so good. Have you ever tried cinnamon rolls from Cinnabon? They are absolute heaven. And I have not found a Cinnabon in Bangalore yet. If 
you know, please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any idea where cinnamon is in Bangalore because I, I struggle to find it. I just got too excited. Next, I spent 153 rupees on Swiggy, so I probably ordered something. Uh, so, one cinnamon roll on 6th Feb, 7th Feb, first purchase, another cinnamon roll from 3rd Wave Coffee Roasters. Every hour spent at the gym, I make up through cinnamon rolls. Okay, moving on. 35 rupees for coconut water, 120 rupees on groceries. I did my brows, so 47 rupees there. 134 rupees on tapping. What's tapping? Absolutely no clue. I'll move on. Swiggy, 143 rupees. 9th Feb, by the way. Oh, 9th Feb is just that. 10th February. Another cinnamon roll from Third Wave Coffee Roasters, 110 rupees. And I wonder why recently my workout's not been showing results. You know, when you do things, you don't really realize that you've recently done them. You get what I mean? Like, you feel like it's been so long since you had your last uh, chicken roll, and then it's just been three, four days. Am I sounding weird or am I relating to somebody over here? Because I feel like it happens to me way too often. What? Three cinnamon rolls in a week. Shit. Okay, 10th February, another coconut water. 11th February, another coconut water. And a restaurant order for 155 rupees. On 12th February, I have 885 rupees spent on natural salon. I got my hair cut. If you follow me on Instagram, then you will know this day was actually a terrible day for me because the person who cut my hair turned out to be kind of a stalker and he took my picture secretively while I was paying the bill and I was too scared to approach him and a whole bunch of things happened. Very very bad memory but if you want to know kind of what happened and if you want to see the stories I posted that day, I actually have it saved on the highlights in my Instagram uh, just so I don't lose them and my Instagram ID is right here and also linked down below. I actually had taken a picture, a selfie while that person was cutting my hair so I had his picture and I didn't want to lose it you know just for I don't know. Be rest assured that salon is not getting one dime from me again and they did not even cut my hair well. Alright moving on another coconut water on 12th February another restaurant order for 155 rupees. I've been ordering from outside a lot this month, huh? Shit. 13th February, another coconut water order. And another restaurant order. I'm ordering every day. This is not good. See, this makes me realize that I'm ordering every day. That's not cool at all. That's so bad. And I didn't even realize that. 14th February, again, a restaurant order. This is not healthy. Like, I'm genuinely concerned about this. I will need some self-reflection after this video, for sure. 15 February, grocery order for 73 rupees. The next big purchase, that is 751 rupees. <laughs> I know what this is. This was a, you know, like a self-care purchase. Don't judge me. I'll show you what I bought. <laughs> so look at... Oh, so many face masks. I love sheet masks, okay? Listen, and they had an offer going on. It's worth it. I got this entire thing for free. So many masks and this for $7.50. Tell me it's not worth it. Tell me it's not a good steal. Let me even show you, like, this video is going to turn into a skincare video. This one is snail, snail mucin, honey, I don't know what this is, ling chi or something, calendula flower, lotus flower, bamboo, I was about to say flower, placenta, not human placenta, this placenta, this, I didn't know the placenta meant that, did you know? Let me know in the comment section below. I actually, listen, I actually bought this because I thought this was animal placenta. 
And I like buying weird masks. Okay, listen, I bought snail news, you know, okay, I'm super excited to put snail shit on my face. So I bought this thinking this is real placenta, and then it turned out. Let's just thank God that it was this and not real placenta. Alright. Honey, this one is Toro. Caviar. This is another fun one. Caviar. I'll let you know, actually. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see reviews of me trying out all these masks. I'll film them all whenever I use these and then put them in one video and post it. If you comment down below if you want to see this because that's how I'll get to know about it. Okay? Red wine. When I tell you I like crazy masks, I mean it. This one, I have no idea. Macchioni or something? This is seaweed. I've heard that seaweed is very good for skincare. I have rice. I know that rice is very good for skin. Rice is amazing for skin, by the way. If you are looking for anything to brighten your skin up, get rice powder or just powder your rice. Mix it with a bit of water and just put it on your face and keep it for like 15-20 minutes. Legit, it works immediately. Lemon. And that's the last one. This video was supposed to be a financial video. And I'm super happy right now after showing you my little collection. I'm obsessed, clearly. Next on 26th February is $4.99 for a backpack in very, very good purchase. This is from my gym's name is Cult Fit. So they have their own gear as well. And this bag, actually I got it at a huge offer because of buying their membership. I had a 500 rupees coupon. Plus they had a sale going on. This was retailing for 1000 but I got this at 499 because of being a member. Amazing bag, like it has one chain here, one big chain in the front which goes all the way to the bottom. Another chain here which goes all the way to the bottom. And then another chain here which goes all the way to the bottom. And this also has a laptop holder, this last one. And then there's a water bottle pocket, these locker systems, which are so good. Heavily padded and stuff. Freaking amazing, right? I'm stoked. Very good purchase. Next is on 28th February. I bought a mask from Apollo Hospitals. Because if you know, in Bangalore right now, H1N1 is spreading. protect myself from that I bought this mask this was a N95 mask so N95 is a mask which will protect you from viruses as well as from pollution I bought that one for 275 rupees pretty cheap actually very very important purchase that's all let me calculate I am not ready for this oh. Legit off camera, I'm concerned about this. I'll show you the amount that came right here. How? I need some air. Someone switch the fan on. Because it's getting hot in here. I'm like having a moment right now. And I think that I needed to do this, you know, not just for the video. It's an interesting video. My father is going to watch this video. After this video, I'm getting a call. This video turned out to be a therapy session for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't <laughs> spend so much money. You know, but something that I actually pride myself in is that I just got my first job, right? Just five, six months back. And I know of a lot of people in my age group or from my university whose rents are paid by their parents or who get help as in money from their parents so I pride myself in that is that I pay my own rent I pay my own living I pay for my own clothes I pay for anything that I need on a regular basis for my groceries whatever it is I pay for it myself that's how it's supposed to be but I just said it because I know there is a bunch of people who get help and they probably end up saving way more than I do spending much lesser than I do oh hey I mean it's completely okay I think it's completely fine. So maybe that's why. By the way, if anyone, just in case, anyone from a more developed country is watching my video, I know I've seen my analytics, I've seen some people from different countries watching. 
So if you are thinking that, hey, that's not a lot of money that's been spent in a month, that's like this amount of dollars, that's not a lot at all. In India, that is a lot. You get things for much cheaper here and our currency is such, the whole thing is set up as such that this is actually quite a significant amount of money to be spent by one person in a month. All right, done. Thank you so much for watching. In exchange for me literally having a heart attack in this video, can you please give me a like down below? I would really, really, really appreciate it, especially after this video. I'd really like a like. Thank you so much for liking and commenting and subscribing and supporting me. Have the best day ever. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. the best one. From squash, from let see, this ring light is blinding me. But see, this video is giving me tension. Squash, cough.